Hello students, welcome to Life Sciences with Jyotishri. In the previous model we have discussed that uh, uh, the experiments which proves that DNA acts as a genetic information carrier. Now in this present module we will be discussing about the possible modes of DNA replication. So there are three different uh, modes of DNA replication. And prior to that, uh, what do you mean by DNA replication? DNA replication is that uh, the DNA molecule, the original DNA molecule has to be get duplicated. It should give a new copy of uh, DNA strands. So that is nothing but your DNA replication. So uh, this DNA replication can be studied um, the modes of DNA replication will be discussing in this present module now <coughs> so these are the uh, possible modes of DNA replication that is semi conservative mode of DNA replication conservative mode of DNA replication and as well as dispersive mode of DNA replication so both DNA as well as uh, genetic RNA are capable of undergoing self-replication and hence replication of double stranded DNA can could be so this is the semi-conservative mode of DNA replication and this is having an experimental proof for semi-conservative mode of DNA replication so let us discuss so what is semi-conservative mode of DNA replication semi-conservative mode is uh, where each strand of the parental uh, double helix is conserved and directs the synthesis of a new complementary progeny strand. So that is nothing but semi-conservative. So semi-conservative mode of DNA replication is where the parental strand first separates into two individual strands and each strand acts as a template for the synthesis of new strands, new daughter strands. So initially it is uh, it shows the conservative mode of DNA replication means the same parental strand mate genetic material is been carried uh, initially during semi conservative mode of DNA replication and coming to the further generations when we will observe to the further generations then we can see that a new copy of uh, new genetic information is obtained in the semi-conservative mode of DNA replication. So basing on this, Mises and Stahl experiment is an experimental proof which shows that DNA acts as a uh, DNA um, replicates in semi-conservative mode of DNA replication. Okay, so coming to the next is uh, conservative mode of DNA replication. In conservative mode, the replication would mean that the double stranded molecule is conserved as such and a new copy is synthesized from the old molecule. So that is conservative mode. Here actually the parental double helix is conserved and it directs the synthesis of a new progeny double strand. So there is no other genetic modulations are observed, new modulations are observed. So the same genetic information is conserved. So while in the case of uh, semi-conservative mode, initially conservative mode of DNA replication is observed in semi-conservative and in the coming next coming generations you can see new modulations, new uh, genetic information is added in semi-conservative mode so hence the name semi-conservative mode so once again I am repeating in semi-conservative mode of DNA replication initially the two parental strands get separated so this is the common thing in any mode that is semi-conservative in conservative and as well as in dispersive first the two parental strands get separated and the two parental strands is acts as a template for the synthesis of the new daughter DNA strands okay so basing on this initially the in the semi-conservative mode of DNA replication you can observe this conservative mode of DNA replication and in the coming generations new modulations are added to the new progeny daughter DNA cells so here 
two types of modulations are observed in semi conservative mode and in conservative mode only the genetic information is being carried from the parents no new modulations are observed so here uh, the parental double helix is conserved and directs the synthesis of new progeny double helix next coming to the dispersive mode of dna replication here in which segments of each parental strands are conserved and directs the synthesis of new complementary strand segments in a fragment wise so this is a not a continuous mode of dna replication is observed breaks breaks fragments from small fragments type this um, daughter uh, dna strands that are produced are uh, in a fragment wise so they are not in a continuous manner so the parental dna breaks up into small fragments which then synthesize complementary strands that is randomly in this dispersive mode material of the two parental strands is distributed more or less randomly between the two daughter molecules so this is also not having ex any experimental proof uh, as of your semi conservative mode only your conservative uh, only your se uh, semi conservative mode of dna replication is been experimentally proved and hence now uh, in any host organisms in any organisms not only in host uh, sorry in any organisms living organisms semi conservative mode of dna replication is observed okay so in the coming uh, sessions we will be discussing about the misses and install experiment that is the experimental proof of semi conservative mode of dna replication okay so you can see here these are the postulates and the, these are the different modes of dna replication so first one is semi conservative mode so here you can see the parental strands first initially get separated and initially it shows a conservative mode and then it is having a uh, different modulations of gene uh, uh, in genetic information is observed in semi conservative mode and coming to the conservative mode <coughs> same conserved material from the parental strand is obtained in the one of the daughter dna progeny cells and the other one is totally complement to the parental strand and coming to the dispersive dispersive uh, mode of dna replication is in fragment wise so this is what uh, the postulates of uh, these are the uh, postulates of three different uh, modes of dna replication okay thank you